Welcome back, fellow racers. It's your boy Vexed. It's Vexed Man. We are here again. This is the uh, series that's taken over from the URL GT2 Endurance Series that was hosted on a Friday night by Flash. This is now hosted by Hodgy, and this is the URL Alfa Romeo 155 One Meg Series. And I think it's going to be a good one. We are here at Autopolis Racecourse Short. So we'll have a quick look at the grid. We've got Incy is on pole. Grasshopper's second. We've got Toten is third place. Molson is fourth. Brian Moncarney is fifth. Krisnerv is sixth. Ice Chan seventh. Naked Racer eighth. Palmer is ninth. Tony tenth. Hodgie is eleventh. Skull Sport is twelfth. Boosted in thirteenth. And Kev is bringing up the rear in fourteenth. So we have nearly got a packed grid. Look at that, guys. Anyway, without further ado, I think we better get into it, innit? Let's get into it. Flagson boy on point. Looking like Grasshopper, a little bit of a... Like he didn't get the, the getaway that he was hoping for. Looks like Toten might actually have the run on him, coming up to turn one. Incy has taken up the lead, and Toten has. He's snaggled that second place away from uh, Grasshopper, who is currently in third. And somebody going a little bit wide in the background there. Obviously, everyone in uh, equal machinery, so this is going to be quite an even race. It's going to be down to the driver. Toten looking for a move around the outside there of Inzi. I'm not sure he's going to get it done, but is he? We've seen how fast Toten could be. He won the uh, GT2 Championship, so I think he's going to be trying to make waves here. Inzi was crowned champion of the URL DTM League 3 Series that's hosted on a Sunday night. So also another very fast driver. In fact, we, this, this lobby is actually completely chock full of very fast drivers. So without further ado, we'll have a quick look down through the grid. Is It does look like Toten is going to try and make a move again, or is he? No, not quite close enough. So we've got Incy currently in first place, followed by Toten in second. And they are going to be coming up to the start-finish line just now. Start The start of lap two. Molson is in third place. Well, it's like Toten. Toten's actually going for a move. He's going out for a move on the inside. We're going to have to stay on board quickly. They like Molson uh, getting challenged by Krizner in the background there as well. Krizner came second in League 3. Yeah, Toten managing to get that move done. That was a great move there by Toten. Late on the brakes and uh, slinging it up the inside. Managed to get it done. So Toten has taken up first place. Inti is, is in second. Molson is still currently in third, followed by Krizner in fourth. Ice Chand is fifth. Nate Race is sixth. Palmer seventh. And Grasshopper has actually dropped down the order to eighth. Tony ninth. Brian Moncarney is 10th, followed very closely by Hodgie there in 11th. Boy Boosted trying to make some moves there as well as he goes a bit deep. He's clipped the grass and he's actually clipped. Looked like he uh, nearly collected Skull Sport as he rejoined. You're going to have to watch them uh, rejoin Boosted. Otherwise, uh, you will get a stern talking to from the stewards, I'm sure. So we've got on board again with our race leader. So Toten is still currently the race leader. We're going to have to have a look down through the field because I think there's going to be some closer battles going on in this at the moment. Toten is starting to get, make a considerable gap to Intensy, who's in second place. As I say, we could, we've seen how fast Toten can be. We've also seen how fast Intensy can be. It's just going to be a matter of... Uh, can Intensy maintain that gap or has he dropped out of the slipstream already, which I think he might have done. Although it looked like Toten a little bit slower through turn one there, so... Looking like Inti might have the advantage. Oh, and Ice Chan. Ice Chan's managed to make a move. He's gone past Molson and Naked Racer. He's moved up to third place. Ice having a great race at the moment. Molson's actually dropped down to fifth. So may maybe a slight error from Molson. I'm not sure. We didn't quite see that. I'm actually going to go back on board with the outside view so we can carry on a run down. So Toten still currently first. Inti second. Ice Chan up to third. He's actually starting to chase down uh, Inti now as well, so be interesting to see if Ice can get past him. We'll have a quick look here. I think this is a 20-minute race, so we're only slowly approaching the fifth minute, the five-minute mark of this first 20-minute race. I think it's 2:20 and a 15, or 2:20 minutes and a 10-minute race. I can't quite remember. I'll have to check the uh, the thing in the chat. Anyway, Ice not quite close enough there. He may get it done into turn one, but I think he's going to be covering that inside. Naked Racer is up to fourth place. 
So he's having a good outing at the moment. He, uh, he was in the M3 in the GT2 series. Had some really strong finishes. Molson, Molson's here in fifth. Actually looking like the uh, the libraries, the custom libraries haven't quite rendered on the cars again for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. It looks like Grasshopper is actually sporting his uh, custom library. So I'm not sure as, as Molson has a massive lock up in front of him. It looked like he locked up that inner right hand wheel. Hodgy, Hodgy sat in seventh. He's just behind Grasshopper. A little bit of a gap there. A little bit of work to do for Hodgie if he wants to make it up to him. Oh, he's actually dipped a wheel off onto the grass there. It's not slowing him down too much, though. Tony trying to chase him down. Looked like he was uh, having a sniff up the inside there, but not quite close enough to get it done in that nice Castro live read. 155. Brian Moncarni not too far behind him as well. Brian Moncarni's in ninth. Brian had some fantastic uh, races in the Dodge, in the GT2s. Looks like Kev's going for a move on the inside. Oh, that was really optimistic from Kev there. <coughs> he tried the late break. He outbraked himself. Oh, I'm hoping that he didn't collect Tony there as well. That was unlucky if Tony was involved in that incident. Not sure if, uh, if, if that is what happened or if it was an error of his own doing. Palmer down to 13th, Kev is 14th. So we're actually going to go up through the pack this time. So we'll go up through the pack towards the leaders. It's something we haven't done before on the uh, on the replays. So Kev is bringing up the rear in 14th. He is watching this battle between Tony and Palmer in 12th and 13th. Palmer wanting that 12th place. Tony not letting him have it though. Couple of Palmer, see if he's going to get a run here. I don't think he, he's going to be on the outside for this turn. Tony making him go the long way round. Is Tony still there? He is. He's managed to get it back ahead of uh, ahead of Palmer. But Palmer's got the run coming out of that final turn. Finally managing to get past Tony. He's got the inside for turn one as well, so that's probably going to bode well for him. Oh, Tony does have a look up the inside. It looked like Kev was having a look as well. A little bit of contact between the ball. It nearly got a bit messy, but they're still going, so it's all good. Skull Sport, 11th. Skull Sport had a... Oh, Skull Sport actually goes deep. He goes wide. He's gone off. He's nearly slid. Nearly collected Palmer in the process. He's actually dropped down to 14th, so... Oh... Look like there's a tiny bit of uh, contact between him and Kev there, not really avoidable. So yeah, Skull Sport dropping down the order. He had a great outing in the Porsche for his first outing in the last uh, round of the GT2 Endurance. Here he is now in 13th, so Palmer and Tony have moved up to 12th and 11th. If someone's off ahead, I think that might have been boy boosted, I'm not sure. Oh no, we got two cars there, two cars ahead, so I'm not sure what happened there. It was Grasshopper and somebody else were on the grass. So Boy Boost has been promoted up to eighth. Chris Nerves ahead of him is seventh. Brian Moncarni is sixth. Hodgie is fifth. Naked Racer is fourth. So Molson's managed to get past Naked Racer. I'm not sure if that was an error from Naked Racer or Molson. He, has, he does look like he has been plugged in. Naked Racer going for an optimistic move. Nearly a bit of contact there, nearly ended in tears, but Monks are managing to keep it on the inside. Or on the outside, should I say. I think Samuel actually backed off slightly as well. I think he realised that if he kept pushing through that corner, he was probably going to end up in a worse bit of contact there than it did. And Still chasing Molson down, though. Oh, it looks like he's going to have the inside here. Yeah, Morse has backed out. He's managed to take that inside. He's taken that third place off him. Morse has got to be fighting back, though. Coming up the start, finish straight. Who was on the power earlier? Who's going to have the run? I think Morse actually starting to edge ahead. He's going to have the inside. He is close enough to go for the move. He's fought better of it, though, and he's got it back in behind Naked Racer so he's going to keep plugging for the duration of this 8th lap 
just past the eight minute mark as well coming up to nine minutes now Molson having another look down the inside still not quite enough ahead to get the move done so thought better of it that's intelligent driving there from Molson all of these guys are seasoned drivers some of them have had a bit of time out but they're back now and they're fully foot to the floor it was a little like Molson actually went a bit deep through that last turn I think he got sucked off by the grass there and it's lost him some of that pace that he had meanwhile Ice Chand he's chasing Toten down but looks like Toten may have just done enough and I've got a funny feeling that maybe the two people we saw at the right hand side there on the start finish straight was that Incy and Grasshopper not really sure we'll have to have a run down through the grid and uh, have a look in so Toten actually currently the fastest guy on the track with a 111.807 I think everybody is going to be surely doing around the 112 113 mark he's got almost consistent 112s obviously that fastest lap of 111 and his uh, out lap was a 114 yeah as I say Raj there Raj has got 112s consistent Tyre's starting to look a little bit worse for wear now. It looks like the Alpha's quite heavily wearing the front rubber. And I believe this is a bop no tuning race, so obviously you can't even adjust the uh, the brake balance to try and counteract that that tyre wear. But I think there is going to be a mandatory pit stop, so I won't be surprised if we start seeing uh, seeing the guys start pitting soon, take on that fresh set of rubber. Nate Racer still in third place. Molson not quite catching up to him yet. Here he is, here's Molson in fourth. Nice gap now to Hodgie though, so he, all he's got to worry about is what's ahead of him. Try and chase, uh, chase Naked Racer down again and see if he can snag all that podium off him. I'm sure that's what he's going to be wanting to do. Krisner, Krisner's up to fifth. As I say, coming second in the uh, Ultimate Racing League DTM League Three. So second, second fastest this season of the League Three drivers. He's going to be moving up to League Two. So this lobby actually a mixed lobby. We've got drivers from all three leagues present. So definitely a mixed bag nice to see nice to see the turnout as well though nice turnout for the books oh and it looks like Hodgie may be starting to creep up onto the back of Chris Nerve now so he might be looking for that move but then I think actually I think Chris Nerve's gone past Hodgie I think Hodgie was in fifth wasn't he he was sat behind Morton so yeah Chris Nerve's managed to get past Hodgie Taking up that fifth place, Hobby, Hod, Hodgy, Hobby, Hodgy is in sixth. Boy boosted. Nice turnout for Boy boosted. He's managed to make it up to seventh after starting close to the back. Being chased down now by Palmer. Oh, does it look like he had a bit of understeer? Had a bit of an understeer moment. Looks like he may have caught right up to the back of Hodgie though. It looks like uh, Boy Boosted potentially going to be going for a move in the next lap or two. There is a bit of a train form in there though. 7th to 10th. I believe. Oh, Boy Boosted looking a little bit out of shape for that last section. Palmer's right over his back now looking like he's going a bit defensive he's having to start throwing some of them defensive shapes but he's sending palm around the outside squeezing him now racing room should be given at all times that was a little bit on the edge there i think if he squeezed him anymore then that probably would have warranted a bit of a talking to However, Boy Boosted looking quite strong at the moment, so... He 
He's managed to make it up to seventh place. Palmer is looking up the inside now, though, and Brian Moncarni as well. Is Brian going to get past as well? I think Palmer has taken up seventh place. Palmer's moved down to seventh. Boy Boost is still there on the outside. Palmer's going to take that place. He is going to no. Boy Boost is retaking it, so he's got the inside there. A little bit of contact between all three of these guys. If they're not careful, Grasshopper's going to get through as well. Palmer's managed to get it through there. There is still contact between these guys. Grasshopper's managed to sling it through as well. That was a bold move by Grasshopper, wasn't it? Managed to make it work, though. So, Palmer has moved down to seventh. We got Grasshopper is in eighth. And he's all over the back of Palmer now. Grasshopper looking for the move on Palmer. He's going to go around the outside. And Palmer's going to hold it on the inside though. Grasshopper's got the inside for this turn. It's going to be a drag race on the start finish. Now Grasshopper's pulled ahead, so Palmer's going to sit in his slipstream. They are starting to catch up to Hodgy. Palmer looking for a move down the outside. Inside. This is the final lap. I think we're actually going to have to go on board with our race leaders. So Kev is finishing in 12th, we've got Skull Sport finishing in 13th, we have lost, I believe we have lost Incy, so I think that maybe was an instant there between, uh, possibly between Incy and Grasshopper, I think they were the two that I saw to the right hand side of the start finish, coming up to the approach to the pit, but here is your race leader. Oh, 